I'm like nervous for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Hey everyone. Okay, so obviously I have a guest, and I've never had a guest. I know. Here. This is a historic moment. <laughs> this is Chris Stewart. You probably know him from the Now or what Channel Five from West Palm Channel Beach. Five West Palm Beach, and then if you're a real OG, Springfield, Massachusetts, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like circa 2011. <laughs> We're gonna try to get through this video and talking about like morning news and local news yeah. uh, without being obnoxious or overly laughing. So first off, Chris and I work together now. Before we get into talking about how we both were morning news people. Oh, yeah. Um, so Chris hosts The Now, the show that I'm on here in Denver. So anyways, let's go back. Mm -hmm. Well, for you, let's go back a month. A month ago. <laughs> for yeah. me, let's go back one year. Yeah. You want to know. Like, right. What's local news like? So. And morning news is a different, like there's just, it's just a animal. different, it's a different animal. Yeah. Just because of the lifestyle. Like his local news and just the news business like takes over your life anyway. Yes. Like this really takes your life and just throws it right off the cliff. I mean basically if you wanna it's live a your fun cliff. if you wanna live <laughs> your twenties like a twenty year old, don't go into yeah. morning news. Finance sounds really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what is the thing that people would never expect about morning news? Well it's funny because it depends on like People, it, it always like shocked me because you have the same conversation with people and they're like, oh, what time do you get up in the morning? Yeah. And I, I got up at 2.30 because the show would start at 4.30 and there's always, it's, we always just a joke that like it's the same conversation you have with people because mm -hmm. it's always like, what time do you wake up in the morning? You say 2.30, then they give you like this like face as if like they just had really bad chili. Mm -hmm. And then the next question is, well, then what time do you go to bed? And then the answer to that's like, I was like seven. Yeah. Except between seven. Definitely. When you meet someone who also works in local news, there's mm -hmm. like this bond of like, it's like wow. you didn't have a life either? <laughs> you put yourself no. through the ringer? Yeah. But yeah, we're sick enough to like continue to do it. Right. Because no. we like it. Yeah, no, and I think like morning news, it's a ton of fun because, and you always have like, I, I always like the people I worked with, mm -hmm. you know, so it was kind of like we were all in this together. Yeah. And you know, you get to know each other really well when everybody's walking in the door, having woken up just a short time ago. Can we also just Like talk before about... you really get the coffee in you too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, you have to have coffee. Side note, just anyone who likes to watch the news in general, let me just tell you something. The weather people get treated here, mm -hmm. <laughs> everyone else, oh, down at yeah. the bottom. You can, like, uh, the weather people, because viewers love them so much that- Oh, they're legends. Like every, but you could come in and you're a weekend, and people were like, "Wow!" Oh, my friend, I have a friend who he was the weekend guy. You want to give him a shout out? Tyler Malden. He he's he's not in the game anymore. Oh. But he is still though. He's been out of television for a little bit, and they call him Ty the Weather Guy. People still know Ty the Weather Guy yeah. down in West Palm Beach, Florida. So Palmer's. check out one. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Okay, now we're gonna get into just things like. But, you know, morning news people have to deal with um, that you wouldn't expect. I'm just going to open the conversation up right now I, I and let like, it all yeah. out. Yeah. Which you, I feel like you already know what I'm going to say. So, obviously, it's super early in the morning. And we're driving around at, like, 3.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, no, nothing's open. There's right. no bathrooms. No bathrooms. Which you for, for women, things. you guys are a little bit more of a predicament than, than a guy. I feel like this is a conversation no one ever talks like, about. Like, let's be honest. Like, but everybody who works in morning news, it's like, because you're in one location typically, say something happened, you're there for, I mean, we had a show that went from 4.30 a.m. to 9 a.m., and then there was another show at 11 to noon. Yeah. So, you're there for a long time. Yeah. Like, four and a half hours at least in the same location that might not be near a bathroom. What um, tips do you give people? You know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> that's, I think that's an age old, I mean, that's just a human, on the human level. There's <laughs> a human interest Yes, story. you know, when nature calls, you gotta answer the phone. Because like, the sleep you get when you work in morning news is not good. No. Like, it's... your body is not built to, to wake up at 2.30. I tell everyone that. I'm like, this It's not just is... us. Like, nurses do it too, There's, and doctors. It's, it's not and sustainable. Police officers and stuff. No, it's not. Like, I, for four years, probably on average got about four hours of sleep and it was like a nap sleep so like you're not even like deep deep in it so i don't know what the you know we'll see 
and how science plays out <laughs> on that in the later rounds, but. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about like going to sleep at night. I had a full on regimen. Like I turned off every single light. I turned off my phone at six o'clock mm -hmm. at night. And then I wouldn't watch TV. I took a melatonin, drank hot tea. I would do anything and everything to pass out. Yeah. Yeah, no, I would. And did you nap? Up, did you nap during the day? I did nap during the day. And then I would work out. That was a Come home, yeah. eat at four or five. Yeah, I was like a four o'clock dinner time. It was really sad. It was. Because people go, what time do you have dinner? And I was like, oh, you know what? Um, older people have dinner? That's what I eat. Oh, yeah. Like, and, and like my friends, I feel like just by being friends with me, like I had a good amount of friends that would like start eating dinner at four. Because yeah. it'd be like, hey, if you want to hang out with me during the week, like. Yeah, I know. It's four o'clock. So. I like never could go out too. And people always invited me, but like I couldn't. I would muscle through depending on if there was like you know sporting event or something like that. Yeah. But I would I turned down a lot because I was like I did not. There's nothing worse than waking up at, at you know yeah. that hour. Yeah. Like, People always think news and TV is so glamorous. Like don't get me wrong, like I love doing what I do, obviously because I've been yeah. the ringer. But people always think it's like so glamorous. No. No, because like, I mean, I, I mean, you worked in Charleston, so like, you know how the weather oh is in the Oh my god, time. the weather. Like noon, Florida. Oh, like, uh, and like in Florida too, like we would cover stories in the summertime, you know, dark, 4.30 in the morning, the mosquitoes. Oh yeah. Like, I mean, that was a whole nother battle. I mean, just, and I'm not acting like I'm a Pennsylvania coal miner or something like, you know, like I've been working like the lines for years. Like it's, you know, not, you know, the most blue collar job, but it's, I mean, there's, you know, stand outside at noon in Florida and then try to look presentable on I television. was just going to say, like, I felt so bad for, at least I could wear like a nice dress that was sleeveless. The guys have to wear like full on suits, but then you were telling me that you kept your jacket on? Because it had to cover up that. I mean, <laughs> if we're letting it all out sweating. today, the sweat marks, like, just... Because what are you going to do? Like, you're going to, like, get rid of the jacket and then just be sweaty guy? I just remember there was this one male reporter at my last station, and he sweated through his whole shirt, didn't wear his jacket. I mean, soaked. And people wrote in and was like, <laughs> does he have a sweaty yeah. problem? Yeah. You, you know, yeah, I mean, that's just... Dark suits, just cover so it weird. up. It's, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get through this video talking about tips of local news and morning news. It's just like, I feel- Sidetracked. I will say, I, I found, cause it's so easy. I remember I, my first station, I was at night. So I was like 3.30 PM to 11 PM. Then I switched to the mornings when I moved to Florida and I gained like 30 pounds. It was probably like 20, 20 pounds. Oh damn, we're opening this door? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> well, because like you're tired all the time, like out yes. of the gate. And um, you're, the options to like, I'm tired, I just worked. See, I went the I didn't opposite sleep. direction. And then I just, and you're also though, you're out in the field all the time. And in the morning, like 7-Eleven is really all that's, yeah. is well, there. Final tip, what would you have to say to someone who like wants to get into this business? I'm always all for it. Cause I think like there is like people who will tell you, Oh, you know, you don't get the holidays off. You're gonna have yeah. to move to a place, not make any money. And I, you know, all of that stuff is true, but every job has bad yes. parts of it. I love the job and I still, I've been doing it for eight years and I still, I don't I, know what else I would do. I feel like you have to really, really love this work. Otherwise it's not sustainable because no. it's not as glamorous as you think. And it's just like, you know, you give up so much. Yeah. I feel like you give up more in this job than you do in any other job. I really, it's, really do. It definitely is because I think that, I mean, I loved where I first started working with Springfield, yeah. Massachusetts, but you know, as much as I love the place, the people were great. It's not exactly, I just got out of college. All my friends got jobs in like DC, Baltimore, Boston, New York, all these places. And, and all, you know, and I was in this small little city that is like the last place. But you ended up in West working. Palm Beach for four years. And West Palm Beach was great. Yeah, it like worked out for me pretty well where I went down to West Palm, which was a really fun place to live and then now living in Denver. So it's like worked out in that sense. But like- No, you're gonna wanna tune in for my next video because Chris is gonna show us how he does his makeup for TV. Not only is that gonna be a, a very entertaining, <laughs> but I'm also going to critique it it's because be, yeah. let me just tell you when I see it every day, there's some things I've changed. Yeah. So. 
<laughs> we'll watch for that. RIP my mentions. Would you like? One, yeah. Would you like to tell everyone the final thing that you make fun of me for all the time? What is it? Like we're ending the videos. Oh yeah, uh, like and subscribe. Is that what you say on YouTube? This is my first time ever being on YouTube. He says that like every day. Like, so subscribe. Uh, my don't video. forget to subscribe. Yeah. He just says that. Yeah, just don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. I mean, if you're watching this and you paid it this far, subscribe. Like, just you might as well finish the effort and just press that little button. Is it like down? Do we do like one of these? Like, subscribe <laughs> oh, and like.